Trinity exposed number 20. God the Father is in every Christian. This is kind of a problem because they say, well, the Holy Spirit's in you. Uh, well, the Bible also says that Jesus Christ, that we're one flesh with him. But what about God the Father? Ephesians chapter 4, verses 4 through 6. There is one body. Interesting. No, there's three bodies according to the Trinitarian people. There's three persons. God in three persons. No, there's a one body. <laughs> All right? One body of Christians and one body of God. You know? I mean, we're chaste. The church is a chaste virgin. We're going to be presented as a chaste virgin. All right? To the Lord up there in heaven. We're not going to get up there and have three, you know, different guys to choose from or something like that. It's one being, one God. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in, in one hope of your calling. One Lord, see that? One Lord, one spirit, one being. One faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all. One God and Father of all. Look at this. Who is above all and through all and in you all all. Hmm. I did a video on this a little while ago, a more detailed study if you want to watch it. The link is down in the description box. But uh, again, it presents a real problem for the Trinitarian people because you see, they're trying to say that there are three different persons, three separate unique persons, but they're all one God. They all share the title of God. And then they'll quote God the Spirit, God the Son, and there is no such scripture for that really a problem. But the Bible teaches plainly that all three parts of the Godhead are there in a Christian. So how does that work if you believe in the Trinity? It doesn't. 